Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurin Shamila binti Kamarudin, A157635. My name is Nurin Habib Aziz, A157557. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Dila. I am from Global New Reports. Today, we would like to discover about how we Kinesian Army military is. From International Department UK, we're here with us to share a little bit about what happened to our world and in the same time to tell us are we Kinesian or Matrix? Waalaikumsalam, thank you Dila for the good introducing. What I can say from the source of amp.guardian.com is it took a year the financial crisis to come to hit but it did so on 15 September 2008 when the US government allowed investment from the bank Lehman to go bankrupt. Up to that point, it had been assumed that government will always step in to bail out any bank that could introduce serious trouble. The US had done so finding a buyer for Baston, while the UK had nationalised Northern Rock. All this came after a period when high oil prices had persuaded Central Bank that the priority was to, priority was to keep the rate, interest rate high as a bulwark against inflation rather than to cut them in anticipation of the financial crisis spreading to the real economy. But then to boost jobs and growth and to reform of the bank interest, rate were cut to the bone. Fiscal stimulus package of varying sizes and now and electronic money created through quantitative easing. Okay, thank you Nirin for a brilliant explanation about on crisis in 2008. After crisis in 2008, what happened next to Greece and Portugal in 2010? Okay, thank you Dila. On 9 May 2010, marked the point at which the focus of concern switched from the private sector to the public, public sector. By that time, the IMF and the European Union announced they would provide financial help to the Greece. The issue was no longer the, was no longer the solvency of banks but the solvency of government. Budget deficit had ballooned during the recession, mainly as a result of lower tax received and higher non-discretionary welfare spending, but also because of the fiscal package announced in the winter of 2008-9, Greece had unique problems as it covered up the dire state of its public finances and had difficulty in collecting taxes. But other countries started to become nervous about the size of their budget deficit. Austerity became the new watchword of the effective policy decision in the UK, the Eurozone and most recently in the US, the country that stuck with expansionary fiscal policy the longest. Oh, so because there is no international cooperation, there are plans for austerity but no plan for growth. Even countries that could borrow money for fiscal stimulus packages reluctant to do so. Europe lacked the political will to force the phase of integration necessary to avoid this integration of the single, single currency. Is it true? Yes, is it true? That's why commodity prices are coming down, but that is the only good news. We are less than halfway for us. There are less than halfway through the crisis that began on 9 August 2007. That crisis has just entered a dangerous new phase. As we know, after all the crisis, the new president of Korea within week in office spoke of a new paradigm. Can you explain to us what the new of paradigm is and what the purpose of doing that? Okay, thank you Dila for the good question. Korean President Park Geun Hye introduced Creative Economy Initiative as a recipe, recipe to create new engines of growth and employment. Korea has been seeking, seeking for an exit strategy from the downsizing pressure and recognize that there is no other way than innovation. Co Apart from that, we know that in Malaysia, the central bank is doing balancing the app. Would you explain more about that? Yes, of course. According to bnm.gov.my website, the role of Bank Negara Malaysia is to promote monetary and financial stability. This is aimed at providing a conducive environment of the sustainable growth of the Malaysian Economy Bank. Bank Negara Malaysia's monetary policy stance is to maintain price stability while remaining supportive of growth. 
Bank Negara Malaysia is also responsible for financial system stability. This is achieved by developing a sound resilient, progressive and diversified financial sector which serve to support the sector of the real economy. It will also play an important role in implementing initiative to deepen and strengthen the financial markets, including the foreign exchange market. So, can you conclude all the explanations that have been given to us? And what do you think? Are we Keynesian or monetarists? What can I conclude of all this is, of all the researches that I found and read in the website, I believe that we are monetarists. This is because in bnm.gov.my also stated that all of doings and policies in Malaysia, we follow the monetarist rule. And so what I can say, we are in the monetarist world. Okay, thank you Nuri for sharing your thought and willing to spend your time with us. We hope we can invite you for the next season. My pleasure. So, that is all from me, Dila from the Global's New Reports. And we will see you next time. Thank you.